Welcome back. A Swiss financial regulatory body has found that Credit Suisse, Switzerland's second largest bank, has failed to exercise due diligence against money laundering and fallen short on risk management. The Swiss Financial Market Supervisory Authority, or FINMA, says that three specific cases, the, in three specific cases, the bank had, quote, infringed upon its money laundering supervisory obligations. FINMA cited cases involving the state oil companies of Brazil and Venezuela and the massive corruption scandal at FIFA, the international soccer slash football body. FINMA has saddled Credit Suisse with a third party monitor to report on Credit Suisse's compliance with FINMA's imposed remedies. In 2014, Credit Suisse pled guilty to, pled guilty to charges from the U.S. Department of Justice related to conspiracy in relation to filing false tax returns. In that case, Credit Suisse paid over two and a half billion dollars in fines and other penalties. And we've spoken on the program many times with our next guest about stocks and lots of times about technology stocks, which have seen a lot of attention this year. But smaller stocks are actually doing a heck of a lot better than most people might think. Here to discuss is our friend, the founder of the Stock Spoosh, our Melissa Arma. Melissa, welcome. Overall, uh, what Hi. does this say about the depth of markets that even the smaller stocks are doing pretty well? Yes, not only the large cap stocks, but the small cap stocks are doing well. And just so people know, small cap stocks are anywhere with a market capitalization of between 300 million and 2 billion. Some people say that trading small cap stocks are riskier because they have less volume, just so people know that going into it. But then the potential is they can also have a huge upside. So some of these stocks have been trending higher. The overall market is in a bullish uptrend, too. We closed very well today, very strong today, near making brand new all-time highs in the S&P today and close to it in the Dow. So these stocks are trading very well, as well as the big cap stocks, which is interesting. Yeah, I, I, and uh, but some of them are really have some unique natures to them, and they, maybe they're doing, they're more than just going along for the ride. So let's get a, to a couple of those that uh, you, you actually pointed out to us earlier. And the, uh, the first one I want to get to is Pet IQ, a, a pet services company, uh, which you made sound interesting, really interesting. Tell our viewers about it. Well, this company makes pet treats and foods. And one of the reasons I think this is doing so well is that a lot of millennials have pets. And millennials actually make up one of the largest working class right now, and they're buying things for their pets. So the stock looks great. Again, all of these stocks that I've chosen today to discuss look good technically. So technically speaking, all of these stocks, this one included, are in uptrends. They're very, very bullish. So you see the money's coming in. The stocks are moving higher. So you could go long this and expect the move to continue. Uh, so I hear a lot of keyboards in my ear of, of, of investors around the world listening to you uh, about uh, these. And we're going to talk about two more, too, just for uh, give those a heads up. The other one is shot. Spotter Incorporated, and this was really uh, cool. Or that's that, that's the one with the uh, telling you about uh, how what is it a, a gun shoots or something? Uh, which, which which tell us about this one. Yeah, this one, again, it's a, it has a, some kind of gunshot defense system. And as you know, there's been so many problems and so much news in the last several years about all of these shootings. So this stock has climbed the ladder throughout the last year, again, getting close up, trending higher to make new highs. And so I don't know exactly how it does it, but this has become very, very popular. And it's supposed to, it's supposed to help people, and not only for businesses and individuals. I'm not sure exactly how the system works, but the stock has been on the rise and probably because, again, people are trying to protect themselves from the shootings. Yeah, absolutely. And, and what about, this is a tech stock, but it's a small stock, uh, Comtech. Uh, tell us about that. Yeah, so this is another one, again, a strong bullish uptrend. This isn't really that cheap either, but again, it's in that small cap sector. Again, on the rise, technically speaking, it looks like a good buy. It's some kind of communications, satellite communications uh, system. So when you're looking at all of these, you've got to pick the perfect place to, to get into it if you're going to be in it short term, or if you're riding it out for the long haul and you don't care about holding it out for 12 to 24 months, I'd say this, again, looks like another good buy just because because technically speaking, the stock looks very strong. Uh, Melissa, we want to have you back and talk about trade and stocks in the future, but that's it for this time. The founder of the Stock Swoosh and the always thought-provoking Melissa Armo. Thanks, Melissa. Thank you.